what's up you guys it's Gabs I hope you're doing well I want to make a video that I've been planning on making for a long time it's a video that I think would have helped me a lot with just transitioning from living abroad to living back in my home country you know for anyone who doesn't know I spent almost two years living in South Korea as an English teacher and when I came back I felt like I was in a whole new world like Aladdin okay like Princess Jasmine there were some bumps in the road that I really did not expect so I just want to sit down kind of have a conversation with you guys so that if you are currently living abroad or planning on living abroad you can you know have a, a idea of what type of struggles or situations you may go through so stick with this video if you want to hear more so basically when you come back to your home country after living abroad for six plus months you're going to feel like a different person. You're gonna feel kind of weird in relation with the people that you grew up with or you know, your friends, your family. Um, you're going to feel as if you can't really talk to people or relate with people as, as well as you could before you left because you really are a new person, you know? You having these new experiences, you exploring a whole nother country, a whole nother world has opened your eyes up to different cultures, different societies, different systems. And you want to have conversations that are a little bit different than the conversations that people who don't have that experience want to have. You know, you want to compare and contrast different uh, ways of living, different foods, different cultures. So when I came back to the US, I found that I wanted to be around other people who had experience living abroad it just made me feel more normal or like i wasn't alone when you live somewhere for so long you kind of get used to that place and your current country is no longer the norm for you anymore so you go through this period where you feel like you don't belong where you were born and raised which sounds weird but it's totally the truth um and you're only going to feel 100 percent comfortable around a people who are natives of the location that you lived in or b people who have also spent time abroad as well so that's definitely something you should try to do try to build a network of other people who spend time abroad just so they can kind of help you to cope with the experiences that you're going to go through and another thing driving depending on where you live i noticed that a lot of other countries outside of the u.s driving is just not as cultural as it is here so for example if you live in asia like i did um most likely you won't have a car um and also if you're gonna live somewhere for short term you're probably not going to get a car just because you're gonna have to get licensed and go through all of this legal stuff that it's just not even worth it in the long run if you're only gonna be somewhere temporary so most likely you're not gonna have a car you're gonna take public transportation taxis that kind of thing so when i was in korea i just took public transportation or i took taxis i did not drive so when i came back to the u.s and i had to get a car and go through that whole process of driving everywhere again it was so much more annoying than it was before i moved i just could not stand driving I felt like I had lost my skills in driving. I had no desire. Like I wanted to just hop on the nearest bus and call it a day. Like I did not want to go through the struggles of like paying freaking car insurance and going to the gas station, you know, regular maintenance on your car. I did not want to deal with that because I had gotten so accustomed to just using public transportation and not even having to think about that type of responsibility. So that's something that's going to take you by surprise and it's probably gonna be a little bit annoying just to adjust you know, back to driving again. Another thing, you're really gonna miss the people and the culture. Even if you are sometimes annoyed by all of that when you're currently living in the country, once you leave, you're really, really gonna miss it. I would always want to eat the food. I would always you know, want to talk to people who had lived in the country I lived in. I remember the job that i got after i moved back to uh the u.s and one of the interns at my job was um korean american but he had very limited experience living in korea so i remember like i would want to just talk to him all the time like hey do you know about seoul like have you been here have you been there 
and he was like i'm sorry like you know i've only been to korea a few times i don't really know much about korea and a part of me was like man i like really wish i could talk to this person about my experience but it was kind of like sad because i couldn't and i don't know it's just like i really i really missed it i really miss the people i really miss the culture be prepared to basically start over from scratch when it comes to your career uh, basically when it comes to everything you're gonna have to buy a new car again you're gonna have to buy a, a house or apartment again you're going to have to buy furniture you're gonna have to like start from scratch because if you're anything like me I got rid of all my stuff before I left because I just w didn't want to be bothered so that was just such a stressful experience and on top of that you're going to have to build a new network of friends all that you're gonna have to get back acquainted with your family and like kind of get a groove of seeing them regularly again um and then like i said before when it comes to career um you're gonna have to start from scratch and don't be mad if a job that you apply for does not look at your time abroad as being valuable to their company there were some jobs who were like yay you know like you really got some great experience teaching abroad you build all these skills and there were other jobs i applied to that was like okay uh that has nothing to do with anything we want you to do so it was almost like it was a gap in my resume so be prepared for some employers to not really look at your time abroad as beneficial specifically if you were an english teacher so another huge adjustment i had to get used to is paying rent again in korea i used to be able to stack my cash okay like it was so easy to save money because my apartment was pretty much paid um, by my school so i know that's the case in a lot of other programs when you live abroad like the peace corps um, when you're teaching in other countries you don't have to worry about rent um, you know if you're an au pair all of those different opportunities you don't have to pay rent but for me such a big chunk of my check was eaten up by rent and it was just so sad like i wanted to cry you guys like no you just cannot you can no longer save the way you used to i got used to saving at a certain level and it was such a downer when i realized oh man like this money is no longer going to go to my savings account anymore this one may be a little uh may be true or untrue depending on who you are as a person but for me it was really tough to integrate back in the u.s as a black person um living abroad kind of made me look at the u.s as a like like a fishbowl because i was on the outside looking in so i was abroad and i was reading about police brutality against black people and i was reading about all of these social justice issues that were happening in the country with immigrants black people other minorities and i was like oh shoot like this stuff is real when i was living in the midst of it all i couldn't really have a bird's eye view of what was really happening and sadly i got used to it um so it didn't really impact me anymore i got desensitized to it but once i was on the outside and i experienced life in a different way and i was no longer you know uh stereotyped against based on my uh the way i look or my skin color i mean yeah people were ignorant whatever but i didn't feel it was as uh impactful or as damaging as being stereotyped or racially profiled in the u.s is it did not really affect my psyche in the same way because the history wasn't there right korea didn't have a history of enslaving black people so that was something that i was free from um but moving back to the u.s and after spending that time looking at america from the outside i was like oh shoot like this is real it kind of hit me in a different way because i was no longer desensitized to it it was almost like it was new for me um me being treated a certain way just for being black um so it was really hard for me just to kind of navigate that whole thing and unfortunately i feel like i'm starting to become desensitized to it once again just like i was before i moved uh, abroad so it's getting easier for me which is like not a bad thing i'm trying to hold on to the feeling of you know uh this isn't right this is messed up but when you're living here day to day and microaggressions become the norm 
you know, it kind of feels normal again. And another thing, you're really going to miss travel. If I go just a few months without traveling, I get really sad because when you live abroad, first of all, the US is huge, right? So basically going to a different state is just like going to a different country but it's kind of the same culture right because it's still the united states but when you're living abroad you get to travel to different countries so much easier and get a new culture and like try new food and get a whole new adventure for example korea's you know small it's like the same size as some u.s states right um and then japan same difference but you can go from korea and japan Korea to Japan and you get a whole different experience so I really miss that I really miss traveling abroad easily and being able to just hop countries on a two-week vacation you know like being able to spend two weeks traveling to three or four countries you know back to back and doing that freely and cheaper you know having a cheaper cost associated with doing that living in the u.s you're just not going to be able to travel as often unfortunately i mean i know that's the case for me maybe you guys can figure something out but with my rent you know being taken from my check and my savings not being as large as they used to be and it just being so much more expensive to travel outside of the u.s I have not been able to do it unfortunately but overall you're going to notice that you are a better person you are a more culturally aware culturally competent person you are more comfortable with diverse populations with working with people who are different than yourself people who may not be from the same place as you may not have the same background you're going to be more open-minded in general like your eyes are going to be so open to different perspectives you're not going to you know think of world as being think of the world as being you know a box and like i don't know you're just going to approach everything with a more open mind with a fresh perspective and I don't think you ever lose that curiosity or that openness once you move back to your home country after being abroad like that's just something that kind of stays with you and it's a beautiful thing i feel like that was a gift that was given from me uh or given to me from my travels and that's the part of living abroad that i really appreciate the most i think it's made me a better person it's built my character i'm more open to to everything right now and my brain is more open to new knowledge i no longer feel that i am like limited um so yeah it's a beautiful thing and despite all of the struggles that you are going to face once you come back because you know there's going to be struggles just integrating back into your country i think the gift of just being more open-minded and all of the things that i just mentioned will overshadow any struggles that you may go through and also the good thing is those struggles will eventually go away and you will settle back into your home country uh eventually like it will happen i feel like for me my transition is just about over i'm super happy that i'm no longer you know going through the discomfort that i was the first several months of uh coming back here but um also something that i have started to do more since moving back to the u.s after living abroad is writing it's something that i kind of did when i was abroad but now that i'm back home i'm a, a bit more settled i feel like it's something that i have the time to do when you live abroad you're spending so much of your time just trying to get to know the country traveling experiencing new things but i have a lot of downtime now so it's given me the opportunity to really get back into hobbies that I once had. So I would love if you guys would check out my blog, check out my writing. I write different exploratory pieces. I write poetry, I write book reviews, a lot of interesting things. You know, if you really wanna, I feel like I write from a psychological or sociological perspective. It's a way for me to better understand the human psyche, better understand myself and the people around me. And it's super cool um so please check it out and you can also comment on my writings via your facebook page so click the link below check it out but i will talk to you guys soon thank you so much for watching bye bye